Some senior writers with the best of intentions will tell you that a vomit draft is a great and helpful tool in your writing process. Now if you don't know, a vomit draft is when you kind of cobble together a rough sort of outline but then you sort of blurt it all out onto the page, write this messy draft, the idea being a draft is better than no draft and you can fix something that exists but you can't fix a blank page. It's worthwhile advice and it's useful to your process as you're learning the process. Here are the risks. When you get to the end of the script, when you type the end, you feel really good. It's an amazing feeling. You've actually completed something. You've found whatever it is, the passion, the time, the commitment. You've quieted the voices in your head. You've actually completed something. Normal human nature is that you sort of fall in love with it. You secretly hope it's perfect. You secretly hope this thing will launch your career. When the reality is, it's garbage. It's a vomit draft. You blurted stuff out on the page. It probably has no structure. It probably has no proper character definition. It probably has terrible dialogue, but you love it because it's yours and you completed it. That's the problem with the vomit draft. My advice is don't start a vomit draft unless you can absolutely guarantee you're not gonna fall in love with it. Unless you tell yourself, this is garbage. If you can't make those commitments to yourself, Spend your time doing an outline. Explore all the crazy thoughts, explore all the crazy characters, put it all in an outline. It's a lot less work and you won't have something at the end that has the end on the end of it. And so you'll feel less passionate about it and more willing to tear it apart and start again.